And we better double check that in a minute, but I'm pretty sure we'll do it as a winger. Right. What we got here, this Morris Oxford? Uh, yeah, Morris Oxford, um, four-seater tourer uh, that I picked up on Saturday uh, from an enthusiast who's just finding the old stuff just a little bit difficult to handle. Um, like all of us, marching on. And the reason that pre-war stuff isn't selling, or it's difficult to sell, is for that very reason. We're all getting on a little bit and struggling a little bit with running and maintenance and such like. So that's the only reason he's selling it. It's a lovely strong motor, nice oil pressure. Um, starts up well, runs nice. Uh, four seater tour, as I say, so the best configuration, no doubt about it. Um, people like tourers, we all like tourers, don't they? You know, wind in your hair and all the rest of it and that sort of thing. Um, but strong cars, these. Uh, they, um, 14.9s, I think, these, uh, as opposed to Cowley's being 11.9. Uh, these are 14.9, so they're on top of the job. They're quite powerful in actual fact. Um, not the best paint job in the world, but per perfectly good enough. Uh, a good bit of mopping and that would improve it. Uh, the black wings are in a particularly good order, very sound. Um, it's got a uh, hood cover there. Uh, the side curtains, the side screens are all in there. The hood's in all good order. Um, Generally speaking, it looks extremely original. The, the bit I like about the old Oxfords is, is they've got a lovely dashboard. Really important. I've got a thing about dashboards and steering wheels and that. You know, because you spend so much time looking at them, I, th I think they have to be in nice order. And this is in nice order. Uh, uh, so, really can't tell you too much more about it, other than that's exactly what it is. She'll be about a 1924, I think. Something on that sort of line, I'm not too sure. Now check out the, uh, check out the data registration. Very good tyres, look, extremely good tyres. Um, very, very near new tyres, I would think. Certainly on the back, that's brand new, still got the pimples on, look. Um, very, very good condition. Uh, lovely wheels, I like the condition of the wheels. The wheels tell you an awful lot about the condition or the, the, the previous condition prior to restoration of a car like this. Um, if a car's been stuck in a field and abandoned and not been looked after and all the rest of it for many, many years, the whole thing gets pitted, the chassis, the wheels, and everything like that. Um, and you can powder coat them and you can get away with a lot of it, but you can't really camouflage them up too much. And when I see nice wheels like this, uh, in, in, in really nice, lovely, I mean, even the castings in all nice condition, means a lot to me. I hate tatty wheels. Um, as we used to say in the trade, wheels and windows sell a car. Most important. Like that, yeah. Yeah. And, and if you've got, got um, you know, rusty wheels and you're trying to bluff them up, and it, they never look right. So nice condition, the wheels in general. Um, so I'm pleased with that. Little rack on the back as usual. Nice number. Nice that it's retained a number, look. RM3420, lovely number that, isn't it? Super thing. Um, we're a little bit on the sort of a low side of <laughs> lights on the old girl. Um, yeah. We've got oh, the base of the one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll go to that in a minute. We've got basically the one light on here, look. So um, the next man might want to put a couple of diver's helmets lights on or something yeah, like that. You can buy them brand new, yeah. easy enough. Now, the springs are all wrapped, as you can see, and all well greased. Uh, all the old springs in the old days should have been like that. As, they, as the, the wrapping and, and the covers fell off, people never put them back on. But it's a shame, really, because they should be on there. And it makes a hell of a difference. And you really do feel the difference and, and the, 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 the noise, no squeaking and that sort of thing, when springs are well greased. Because if you think about it, they're, they're going like that all the time. They, they, they should have some sort of lubricant in them. Uh, Clearing horn. <laughs> Usual thing, basic mirrors, and I mean really basic mirrors, but they do the job. And um, nice clean engine, looks in nice order, starts up easy, super thing, proper kilometer on there, uh, temperature gauge you can see, nice brass fittings. Um, it's just generally speaking, it's just a lovely old car, really, really sensibly reserved at a, at a price that is saying, come and buy me. It should romp away, it should sell so easy, this car. Um, in fact, 10 years ago, it would have achieved at least five grand more than what it will achieve now. But that's life, isn't it? It that's is. That's the way it goes. Uh, Lovely. So there you go. And in there, look at that. Beautiful little toolbox. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that lovely? Little jack. Uh, grease gun. Spare coupling, look. Oh, yeah. Then, uh, all, all nice little add-ons. That'll do. That'll do.